talking about the corporation. Oh, corporation. yeah. Well, I'm just saying that I think sometimes um, we can't be scared to share what we know. So I think it's good uh, that you're, you know, writing books and you're you're sharing the knowledge that you found. And I think, like Oprah just put out a, a free book yesterday, um, The Path Made Clear. And it just talked about finding your direction, you know, mm -hmm. and when you do that, you're so much more capable of reaching whatever goals you set. Because like you said, when we're in school, we're not taught that we're these, um, I'm about to start sounding real weird, that we're like these creative beings with all this energy. You're not sounding weird at all. <laughs> <Don't you laughs> so many things that's, that's not what they're teaching they don't want you to know that so nah. when you find out it takes you a while to figure out how it really works because that's not the information that's being funneled through mainstream mm -hmm. so like you said you might be 70 years old by the time that you really wake up and say oh my gosh i could have been doing whatever i wanted to do my whole life yeah that's my passions drive me as opposed to money yeah, because a lot of a lot of people said they'd be like, "Oh, if I would have knew that when I was that age, I would have did this different." That's that's a lot. A lot of a lot of people say that. A lot of people, say, even me, like I like, man, if I was doing, because I was a I was a on the road student. I was a star in basketball, and I just got sidetracked. I got sidetracked yeah. by by money and. Right, little, and having little that help out, or, yeah, pay yeah. bills in the house and all that shit. It was, it was, it just took me away from from my goal, and I lost that and dropped out of school and went to prison. So, right, right, just, and then got derailed for that much longer yeah. when you could have been, you know, manifesting the things that you desire or deserve or setting your family up for generational wealth. You know, yeah. all these things that they're doing, they're doing it. You know what I mean? They already know. They don't know. They know how to pray properly. They know how to get what they need. They know how to do all the things. Mm -hmm. But they don't make that information available to us. And nope. I think it's really important for people like you and myself to continue sharing what we know so that we can help maybe open some eyes because there are so many people who don't understand like and listening to even Oprah when she talks about her purpose she says that her true purpose is to bring people to consciousness so that they can realize their true potential yeah. so do you know like if you had to say what your purpose was what would you say your purpose is my purpose is to show the whole world that anything you set your mind to that you can achieve and it's not nothing that you can't learn it's not nothing that you can't do it's not nothing that you can't achieve because we are great we are great if you use your time and you use your mind the right way because it's it's, right. a, it's a lot of people with great talent with great talents and they so scared to use their talents because they don't have nobody to push them. They don't have nobody to keep telling them, man, keep going. Like they don't have nobody to mold them. See, right. And, and life right. and life ain't no motivation better than self motivation because mm -hmm. you have to push yourself more than anything to achieve anything that you want to achieve you can't worry about somebody else telling you oh that's good or that's that that's this you got to worry about you and you got to push for what you want in life because ain't nothing going to fall out the sky yeah ain't you know what i'm saying ain't nothing just going to happen to you out of the ordinary if you don't create it yourself Yes, so, I agree with that. So everything, like everything in my life, what I'm trying to incorporate, I'm working on myself, I'm pushing myself, and I'm building a legacy behind my name. Yeah. Because I, I, the, my main goal, my main thing is I just don't want to be another headstone because a lot yeah. of people go to the grave and they had great talents. A lot of businesses, a lot of more businesses could have been created, a lot of more movies, a lot of more 
a bunch of different other ventures could could have been created, but the people they were scared to to speak out their idea because they thought they they was going to sound out of the ordinary. They right, like how I talk. <laughs> yeah, but that's that's cool. That's that's see you're you're in your own your own way. That's that's how you yeah. are. You know what I mean? So it ain't about how somebody else feel about it because just like like the rappers, like somebody rapping, that's their craft. So the way that they speak their language is their craft. They're not worried about how somebody else speaks. Like all the right. talented, the motivational speakers, like Oprah, she has her own voice. She's not worried about right. how somebody else feel about how she said she's going to speak it how she speak it. See, right. you can't worry true. about how, how somebody don't uh, object what you're saying or don't like what you're saying because you're speaking what you speaking. That's your language. That's your brand. Right. So it ain't, it ain't right. about it ain't about oh, clarifying yourself or somebody else. It's about speaking what you know and speaking what you're passionate about and doing it. So Right. And I think, too, like, that's why I renamed Course Correction because I feel like you know, now that I understand, I need to, to to redirect a lot of the things in my life because I've been living, you know, day to day, like that was all there is. Just go to work. You know what I'm saying? Just make money. But that's not, you know, there's so much more than that. And now that I realize that, well, when you know better, you do better. So it's time to just redirect and get back on track, get on the real track so that I can continue to fulfill my actual purpose which is not coming to these people's job every day or, you know what I mean? Like there's so much more than that. Yeah, it is. That's a lot more. That's a lot more. And and only you, only you can create that. Only you can make right. that happen. You can't make that happen slaving for somebody else. Even yeah. if, even if it's, it's good, it's, it's good, it's good. If you like what you're doing, it ain't no problem. But if you're miserable right. with it, that's not what you need to be doing. Because yeah, exactly. Don't know, don't nobody stay to something you're miserable with. Like with me, I did roofing, I did landscaping, I did framing, I did production work, and based on any any damn thing you can you can think of. Like I don't done it, but it wasn't nothing that I wanted to do. Like when I was in the street, I worked for myself, so it was yeah. like. Why would I want to work for somebody else when I can get paid nine dollars an hour when I can make a thousand dollars an hour? You know what I'm saying? So certain things, right. certain things like that made me like, man, I was made to create my own opportunities. I was I was here to be my own boss. It wasn't it wasn't meant for me to to be stuck to somebody else's job. If that makes sense, because I know yeah. I got greater value than than that. Than allowing these people to mine my energy for their purpose. Yeah. Because that's what it is. You know, if you look at, we're all just going to work when there's mm. so much more out here. You know, there's infinite energy for us to be using to create what we, what we desire. You know, what's going to f fulfill you. You know, because when they say, like you said, when you're going to work and you're miserable, well, you're the only person that can change that. You know, you have to be the one that says, this is enough for me. I want to do something different. And then, I mean, it's going to be hard, but when you, if you're really ready to do the work, then, you know, you'll start seeing wins fairly quickly. As long as what you're doing, like it, it drives you when there's passion mm -hmm. behind the work that's being done, it's, it works so much easier whenever you enjoy what you're doing what you're doing yep like what i do every yeah. day like i could do it i could do it every day i can because like all i'm doing is building i'm building 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 everything that i learn is another file in my brain that that i that i know and everything that i achieve is another certificate it's another another goal checked off yeah and i'm growing i'm growing my mind like i i learned so much so much like I listen to audio books I take notes like and I just absorb it all and I know like I talked to this guy I talked to this guy he's a, a eight figure earner from um what is this from click funnels have you ever heard of Russell Bronson yeah yeah he was with him he called me and he was like yeah about his training thing he charged a thousand dollars a month and mm -hmm. 
he's awesome. He's an awesome guy. He's an awesome guy. But he was like, man, when I just started talking to him, like, because I do like the wholesale and real estate. I write music and I write books and I'm dealing with some mobile technology, stuff like that with mobile apps and stuff. And he was like, damn, like, like, man, the stuff that you're telling me about, like what you're doing, it took me 10 years to learn that. And you're, and you're doing it like, and you're in it now. So he was like, yeah, you're, you're, you're highly advanced. And he was like, man, I, I want to work with you. I want to work with you, man. I would love to work with you. Like he, I'm like, yeah, I understand that, but man, listen, I got nine kids, and we got all this stuff going on, man. I don't have no extra thousand dollars to give you, you know what I'm saying? Even if it's a guarantee, but if I had the money, I probably would have just, okay, man, I'll give you, I'll give you a run for, give you a run for it, because I know it's a guarantee. But it just, it just make me just, just open my eyes to be like, damn, like I'm really moving forward and I'm not going backwards, and. I know I'm on the right path. I know I'm on the right structure. And I know it might take a little longer, but I know the rewards, what I'm going to eventually achieve, what I eventually get from, from the path that I'm on now, it's going to be greater than anything. And it's going to hit me all at one time. I know it. I feel, I feel it in my heart. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, I'll say this. I know $1,000 sounds like a lot to give towards training, but... I think when when you really decide you need some training, you know what I mean? Like, if you really need it, you will come up with the money because yeah. that's going to be the desire behind it is going to be different. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Then you're going to grind harder because you spent money towards it because it's just right. a, it's a 12, it's a 12 month course. See, I'm interested in it. See, now all I'm going to do. Because I got some investors that's supposed to be coming on with this technology that I've been doing. And mm-hmm. I probably had the extra money. And I'm just, I'm going to go ahead and get to them. You know what I mean? I'm going to go ahead and take that training. Because anytime you can get a mentor in a field that yes. you want to get into, that's way more advanced than you. And this guy, this guy's earning, like Russell Bronson, he's a, a multi, multi-millionaire. Mm-hmm. And I read, I got his books. I read his books. I study his craft. And I love the way that he's doing it. And it gave opened my eyes up to a bunch of different things. Like for me to for me to like put like funnels and stuff on my website. Like you go to my website, you click this button and it takes you to a squeeze page and all that stuff I learned from mm-hmm. from reading the books. Yeah. So so but their the training that they have is it's pretty awesome and I'm I'm pretty pretty sure then like a uh, next month or so I'm probably going I'm probably just going to be all in with it just go ahead and just take it in cuz I know I know I know it's going to help me advance. Yeah, like if you think about if you spend $1000 a month but you end up being able to reap in an additional 3 or $4000, you've already made your money back. Yeah, cuz he said within the first month, you said within because the thing about it once, see, a lot of people that that gets into stuff, they don't already have a product. See, I already mm-hmm. have, I already have a finished product. I already got a finish, a finished book. So that's that's my product. So it's it'll be right. it'll be a book funnel. Yeah. And all they do is the upsells and stuff like that, and email capsules. If I if I if I would have thought about the email marketing campaigns. That should have been one of the first things that I started when I first started started out here. I should have been collecting emails and collecting all the information when I first started. And I probably would have had a, a better system than, than I have now. Because the email list is, is a powerful is a powerful thing. I know yeah. it. I know it. The, the, the more people are on your email list, the higher the probability of returns on that. Yeah, it's very powerful. And you got to have... I'm actually video. about to go write an email marketing campaign now for somebody. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I got to see what you do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Try. Yeah, wrong. I mean, it's part of like what we're talking about. Just try, you know, put some shit out there. You just never know. You know, you can't be afraid to say... This is me, you know. Yeah, gotta gotta try. Have you ever heard of a um, soap opera sequence? Mm-mm. Share. 
It's, well, it's, give me a give me a tidbit. Give me a tidbit because if it's something it's, that you have in your one of your books, just give me a, a yeah, little bit. It's, of it. Yeah, it's a sequence. Basically, basically like um, you get an email, you get somebody to sign up for your email list, and boom, you send them a welcome letter. Thank thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining me. And then boom, boom, you know what I'm saying? You give them a little rundown, and then the next day, you send them another one another email and basically it's like your backstory telling about your life story and stuff like that but you put like offers in it like okay i'm gonna give you a little bit of knowledge like you record a video talking about like some self-help or some inspiration or something like that and you basically you're you're targeting all of your you're trying to get as much much people to go to your system you know what i mean like if you got youtube you got a youtube channel with videos you're trying to build that views up so you can get shares to that or you got a web you're building trying to build more traffic to get somebody to buy into your products that makes sense and yeah. then you have a, a five-day sequence so it's the backstory and it's like the conclusion and it's it's something else it's just it's just five emails, a five day email sequence to get mm-hmm. to target the people that that you get subscribing to, so you can keep them in the loop to make them buy them more. So you explain it's a breakdown of your life story, a breakdown of your business, and it's just in each step to get somebody to follow it to get them to buy into your products. Basically, that's basically what it is. Yeah, that sounds like. Sounds kind of like, sort of like what I do. Like whenever I I'm looking at a market, somebody is looking for a strategy on something. You really have to research that group and figure out which parts of like the soap opera are they more interested in, right? Mm-hmm. So basically, just you really have to break down the people. Like it's not a, a like a one day thing. I think that's one thing that people kind of don't understand about marketing or email marketing is they're like oh well i just want to tell people to go buy it you gotta really they have to love you you know what i'm saying or they have to know you or they have to people buy your things values from, yeah people buy things from people they trust people they value so mm-hmm. if you're just showing up and saying hey buy this it's not gonna work they have to it kind of has to grow on them you know what i mean mm-hmm and they yeah, gotta keep like growing. Said, you gotta keep adding right. value to it. Right, right. They have value right. for free too, because a lot of people, a lot of people want want value for free. They want tips for free, and a lot of times yes. people charge thousands and thousands of dollars. Right. For for, for knowledge, yeah, for those tips, and you give it to them for free, and then a lot of people say. Like, I talked to some business owners, and they'd be like, yeah, that's nice. It's nice and all good to give away content and give away learning strategies, give all away for free. But basically, you're, you're, not, you're not building your, your brand the way you should. Because a lot of, peop- a lot of times, you should charge for, for your knowledge. You don't just want to give away something for free, then don't they won't need you no more if you keep giving away for free. So it's like like bits and pieces of bits and pieces of knowledge to get somebody to buy in. Stop. Yeah. Up, buddy? And, and I agree with that. Do you follow um hmm? my yeah, I'll get you. I'm finna go make some. I'll be down in a minute, okay? okay. Say that again. Oh, I was just gonna say, do you follow um David Melter? No, nah, I don't know who that is. Okay, he's on Instagram. He's always giving like really great inspirational tips and like really great business tips. But one thing he always says is that he gives away a lot of stuff for free because that's how people know he knows what he's talking about. Mm-hmm. So whenever he gets ready to drop, to make the drop drop, they're like, okay, well, this guy is knowledgeable, so I could definitely learn something from him. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. As opposed to, I'm not giving you any information, but buy from me. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Because at that point, the, the customer's like, well, how the hell do I know what you what you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, you know, it's like I said, it's always good to give to give away something for free. Like mm-hmm. I give away a lot of knowledge for free. Like I I record videos. I try to help as much people as I can. Like I get messages all the time from people like in India. This this lady just wrote a child's book, mm-hmm. and she was like, James, can you please write this write this blurb for me, and so I can get some money raised for because it, it was a um a fundraiser thing that she mm-hmm. was trying to do for this youth group and. I said, no problem, ma'am. And she from the Philippines, and I wrote it for her. Never talked to this lady a day in my life. And I wrote it for her, gave it to her. You know what I mean? It's, it's whatever, whatever somebody asks me need help, I'm gonna help them. Like a lot of people ask me about the self-publishing and stuff mm-hmm. like that, and I give them, I give them the rundown because mm-hmm. I didn't have nobody to just run it down with me to help me to help me advance. So I had to learn all that mess on my own. You know, James, I think that's one of the issues with the society we live in, because I feel like everything has so much to do with money mm-hmm. that everyone's like, I should be charging for this. Mm-hmm. And while it's true, you can charge for it. But I watched a TED talk recently that was talking about when people have a spiritual awakening and in our society, we call it a mental breakdown. You know what I mean? Or or we say, oh, you, you might need to go see somebody. But in other cultures, when a person has a moment where they're like, I feel like there's more than this. You know what I mean? Like they kind of catch it. Mm-hmm. An elder in their community helps them and guides them and gives them the tools so that they can complete whatever it is they're trying to do. And we just don't do that. Mm-hmm. You know, we're, of- we're not... A, a society of servants for for ourselves and for each other. No, no, we're not. We just mostly everybody is for self. They they're, they're not not for to help. Cause like a lot of a lot of businesses, like a lot of businesses, if if you making if you making a million dollars, you can make a million dollars a month. And you talk to somebody and you hit a value in this person. You hit a value in someone and you got the ability to help them overcome that to, to see a, a see a story. Why not help them instead of make them struggle all the way up to get up? Right. It's it's, it's a lot of a lot of stuff like that because they mostly a lot of businesses and companies, they they'd rather have your money. They'd rather have your money than help. Yeah. So it it really it really don't be it really don't be what they said it's be like a being a success story especially if if you grinded it out and then you had to pay it all by yourself because yeah. you really you really didn't help me all you did was charge me for your knowledge right and then you didn't give me any that's what i think the most important thing is about me trying to help these people uh with their marketing strategy is because i don't want to do it for you i want mm-hmm. you to be able to say I know now how to execute this Mm -hmm. because you will need it again. And I don't want to make anybody dependent on me. What I want is to teach people how to successfully create and execute a marketing strategy or whatever their endeavor is. But here's the issue I seem to run into. People want me to do it for them. They don't want to learn how to do it. So a lot of times those are people that I don't work with because one thing that I say is I will never work harder on your business or your project than you are working on it. Because I feel like the intention behind it should be this is what I desire. Mm -hmm. So if that's what you desire, which work are you going to do for it? Because paying me to do it is only going to get you so far. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah that's true. How long you been doing the marketing? Well, I just started this business in January. But, you know, I did pretty much um, everything for Between Us Girls. And that was kind of what taught me that, number one, I had a sphere of influence. And number two, 
how to reach certain markets. So I said, well, if I know how to do that, let me see if I can help some other people. But a lot of people, um, like I said, I'm running into issues where they don't, they don't really want to learn how to use the tools because I don't ever want you to be super, super dependent on someone else because what you going to do when there's nobody else to do that for you? Mm-hmm. You're going to be Go hire somebody like, else. Yeah. But that's only going to get you. How much more money are you going to save if you just say, well, I can pay you to do X, Y, Z because I don't know how to write it, but I know how to. I know how to post it or I know where to send it to. If you have to do it all. That, that takes your time. It. it takes your time away yeah. too. Cause in it, like I'm, I'm trying to really build a team. I want to try to build, been trying to build a team of, of people that's in every niche that, that I'm in. Like I build a niche with authors, build a niche with real estate investors, marketers, uh, app developers, like, because that's that's what I I'm gearing gearing my my business towards because that's what I know going to get me the highest the highest return possible. Yeah. Because that's that's basically what what everything around like because technology is evolving so why not get into technology? Real estate mm-hmm. real estate will never go anywhere so why not get into real estate? Writing books knowledge will never go nowhere. It doesn't matter if it's robots flying around. Somebody always going to read a book. Somebody always going to want to read something. So even if it's ebook form, audio form, it's always going to be around. It's it's never going to go anywhere. Yeah. So well, let me ask can you use an editor for your um, publishing? I have. I got, I got one. I got, I got, I got about ten of them. That's that's edit yeah. people, people that edit. Why you edit yourself? Oh well, I'm not writing any books. No, I'm saying not you yet. edit. You you edit. Yeah, I do. Well, th- the reason why I like oh. to do that is because I want to make sure that when when we hit the market, when black business owners and black entrepreneurs hit the market, that they're shining. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I don't ever want it to be where somebody can come back and say, oh, this book was terrible. The editing was terrible. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Because that's going to take away from the wins that you're going to have. Of course, it's a learning experience, but there are going to be people who say, well, I don't need an editor. And uh-huh. then they just publish whatever they're going to, whatever they put out there, but it hasn't been, you know, reviewed. Polished. And so it got to be polished. Yeah. yeah. Right. It needs to be clean because you have that much more against you as a black entrepreneur or a black business owner, because we're always standing there waiting. Oh, that's why I don't patronize black business. Oh, that's why, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's, it's more than just, just editing. It's a, just to, to really just care for your brand because once you present it, you can't take that away. You Mm. can only now work, you know, you're going to have that much more work. When you're having to build on top of garbage. Mm-hmm. That's true. That's true. Yeah. So like with me, with me, I learned so much because I paid an editor like almost eight hundred dollars to edit my book. And mm-hmm. when I got it back, when I got it back, she didn't know how to do any of that shit. Like she knew what she was doing, like with the grammar and stuff like that. But all I, the better paid program was Microsoft Word that I had on my on my computer and them and them yeah. Grammarly because, like, when it got when I got the, the the manuscript back, it was all red. It was all oh this correction here, this correction here, this correction here. Like a bunch of different red spots that I didn't even must know how to take the stuff off. I hold right. on, buddy. Hold on, hold on. And I'm like, man, I call her back. I said, hey, man, I thought she was supposed to send me. She was supposed to send me An two edited. versions. She was supposed to send yeah. me the edited version, and she was supposed to send me the finished version. So she she didn't send that. So I'm like, man, I'm like, man, like I don't paid you all this money. So I was like, okay, well, you know what? I bet you I won't use you no more. You know what I mean? But I ain't tell her that. I said, okay, yeah, thank you, man. Whatever, whatever. Okay, whatever. 
Cause this it's already gone. It's already, you know what I'm saying, water on the bread. So I had to go into it and I just went into it. And all I did, like me, I like to learn. So okay, I sat down, took me a couple hours to go over it, go over it, and go over it. So it took me like two days. But I learned more. I learned I I, I, I guess it was it was that time for, for me to learn more about about doing what I was doing anyway, because all I did was just wrote it out. It was like, if you got a story, just write it out. Don't worry about punctuation, none of that stuff. And I would never in my life do that again. Yeah. So everything I write now, I even write it. I even write out everything different. I write, I write it more catchy. I write it. I basically take my time, take my time to go over it, and I'm going to proof it and proof it and proof it and make sure that that's, it's what I'm looking for instead of just giving it to somebody else and letting them just go over it and right. mess my, and mess that's my shit what up. I'm talking about. When I say I want to teach people how to do it, that's why. Because yeah. it's your baby. Don't mm-hmm. give it to someone else. If this is your creation, that's like the creator of the universe, well, he, okay, giving his creation to somebody else to say, can you fix on that for me a little bit? Mm-hmm. Polish you know that I mean? up. Yeah. Turn, so yeah like, change the trees. <laughs> yeah. Like, if you know how you want it to be, then you know how it's meant to be. So if you have the tools to make sure, I mean, you can still send it off to an editor, but like you said, if you know how to at least structure it the way that you want it to be structured, mm-hmm. then they're, they can't mess with the integrity too much but they're editing. And that's just really what I want people to understand is that you're fully capable of doing all these things that you feel like you need to outsource right. directly because that's part of it being your creation. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And a business. Because right. anytime you, you're in a business, yeah, anytime you're in a business, whatever you're trying to incorporate in that business, you need to know, you need to be knowledgeable in it. Even if even if you hire somebody that's that's more knowledgeable in the area, you know the basic, you know the base of what you need and how how right. you need it done. Right. That way you're not gonna buy any whoop tickets or wooden nickels because you already know what you need. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. Because a lot of people get stuff and they they be better very this out this this satisfied with it. They they don't. They don't like it, and you've been on spent so much money doing something, and you don't get no return out of it, and it's it's a bad bad job because you got somebody that that's one of those know it alls that's that that thinks they know everything when they really don't know a damn thing, and they it's it's pretty bad with it these days. Right. It's pretty bad. Yeah, so I can't. You just gotta know. You gotta know. You gotta know what you want and know what you what you're capable of doing. And you gotta do it. You gotta learn it yourself. It might take take time for a trial and error, but you have to learn it yourself. Yeah, I'm gonna come down there now. I'm gonna come right now. So. So let me ask on. you one last question, and then I'm gonna let you go tend to your baby. Okay. What's the most important thing you've ever learned? The most important thing that I ever learned? Yes. That was a good question. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Right. Most, I mean, most you can take a minute if you need to. The, one of the most important things that I learned is I can achieve anything I set my mind to. Yep. That is one of my most important things that I learned. And I know that it's not nothing that I can't that I that I can't do. And I can't nobody tell me different. And myself, like another most important thing is that myself is my best investment. And yeah. can't nothing can't nothing change that. Can't nothing stop that. And my, you gotta just keep my. I keep my eyes on the prize, no matter how hard it is, no matter how how the struggle is, whatever it is. 
My eyes always on the go. Then I stop. So that's, that's good. Yeah, that's that's one of the best things that I learned in my life and my two years of being out of out of the out of the crazy stuff that I was in. That's that's basically what I learned. And everybody that tells me, like everybody that's around me. Like my friends and everybody, they be like, man, boy, you achieve more, more than anybody that I know. That's that's around because a lot of my friends, they still doing the same thing that we was doing 10, 15 years ago. Yep. And and a lot of them still going to jail, still getting in trouble, still just living the same old life. They right. just getting they just getting older living the same life. Right. You haven't changed anything, you know. Yeah, You're not doing anything different. So I think I think that's really important. And I really hope that you continue to share the message and keep working. Um, can you tell everybody where to follow you? You can follow me on Instagram at James uh, James ten thirty one thirteen. Twitter is the same, the same one. Or you can go, the best thing for you to do is go to my website, JW Publishing 1031.com. All the icons is below. You can sign up for the newsletter. And I got Instagram, LinkedIn, Snapchat, Pinterest, Reddit, Facebook. I got all of them. So Whichever okay. one that, that that somebody don't have, I got it. So you know what I mean. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think the the web address is a great way for people to just kind of you know using your funnel or whatever. Yeah, and you say you do the marketing, so we probably need we probably need to chat off the phone or something about yeah. marketing too. So I can sure. give you some of the insights of the stuff that I have, and we can mastermind on something and probably develop a successful. A highly successful system. Definitely. I'd love to get in on, on that with you. Yeah, that'd be awesome. All right. I appreciate your time. Appreciate the yeah, call. No Make sure you send Thank me a you. recording. Recording. Yeah. For sure. I will. And actually, um, you know, you can you can grab it from the Skype message for thirty days. Yeah, yeah, I don't know nothing about it. I guess okay. I have to figure it out. This is my first, oh, really, my first time really being really being on um, Skype. I sent a couple of messages because I got a guy that's supposed to be calling me from the United Kingdom. I'm supposed mm. to get on the call on the call here shortly. Yeah, I mean it's really, I mean it's good to use if you want to ever like go back and just listen to because you can listen to them, but you can download them. Just hold your finger on the what you see there, and it should tell you ask you if you want to save it. All right, well, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. Really, I'm gonna do that. And then just right. uh, let me know when you want to talk about marketing or whatever. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna record another episode tonight. So, uh, yeah, just let me know. All right, that'll yeah. work. I'll All probably right, put yeah. this one out not next week, but the week after that. So like two two Thursdays. So not well, not this Thursday, but next Thursday. All right, that'll work. You just give me the heads up. All right, I will. And then um, if you have any pictures or your book cover or anything you want to put on the artwork, send that to me. All right, I'll put something together on Canva and I'll send it to you. Yeah, awesome. I love Canva. All yeah, right. Yeah, me too. All right. Yeah, excellent tool. All right, you have a good day. All right, you too.